4K gameplay reveal. This is what I want to see. Is this the one? Yes, this should be the one. This is another playthrough game. What we're doing because I never played Mafia. Never played Mafia. In 2002, Mafia, the city of Lost Heaven, launched the Mafia franchise. A this series of gripping crime dramas that spans multiple decades. Mafia The Definitive Edition is a complete remake of that influential game. A faithful recreation of the original, oh, the Mafia remake shit, revisits dude. Lost Heaven at the height of Prohibition. The game's been built from the ground up by Hangar 13, with a team that Damn. includes many veterans from the 2002 version, as well as from Mafia 2 and Mafia 3. Our goal was to improve the game in as many areas as possible given advances in technology, game design, and storytelling since the original release, while still remaining true to the Mafia's story, characters, and spirit. The entire city has been rebuilt and even redesigned in some man, areas to provide GTA, more vistas and places of interest here, without man. losing any of the original game's landmarks. We the wanted to bring the city to life with as much detail and atmosphere as possible, so we built the game on our proprietary technology but added a number of new audio and rendering features, including a brand new lighting engine for the remake. Given that narrative is so important to the franchise as a whole, we used our state-of-the-art motion capture and facial likeness technology to recreate all the cinematics and added new scenes and dialogue to further develop many of the game's most beloved characters. With that said, our reimagining of Mafia stays close to the original story which tells the tale of Tommy Angelo, a cab driver who falls in with the mob by chance before rising to become one of Lost Heaven's most feared gangsters. Taking place over eight years during Prohibition and its aftermath, this is an epic crime story set against the backdrop of 1930s Lost Heaven, a Midwestern US city riddled with corruption. While the story centers on Tommy, one of the elements of the original mafia that we all love is its rich cast of characters. So they're all represented here. Tommy's best pals, Polly and Sam, his love interest, Sarah, the mob boss, Salieri, and his consigliere, Frank, the mechanic, Ralphie, weaponsmith, Vinny, and dogged detective, Norman, all return. Knowing the importance of both gunplay and driving to the Mafia franchise, we redesigned all of the core gameplay throughout the game, while keeping all of the missions, major mission beats, and underlying narrative intact. We've also included an extensive selection of period authentic vehicles, including motorcycles. And there's a wide range of weapons, again, all based on weapons from the air. As with the original Mafia, the heart of the definitive edition is its missions. We've worked very hard to ensure that each mission has its own unique feel and memorable set pieces inspired by the original game. Man, look at that dick. We'll now take a closer look at one of those iconic missions, a trip to the country. This mission takes place about halfway through the game. Tommy has already established himself as a valuable member of the Salieri crime family. Unfortunately, the Salieri crew is struggling to make ends meet as a rival mob, run by Don Morello, has cornered most of the city's major rackets. Their fortunes might be about to change, however, with the arrival of a shipment of whiskey from Canadian bootleggers. All Tommy and his partner, Polly need to do is travel to a farm outside of town where they will meet Sam and the trucks carrying the bootleg whiskey. But from the moment they arrive, it's clear uh, that something is just wrong. like, blah, 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 I don't know any names in this one. I don't know any thing, right? So, that bastard, yeah, right. it's just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. Catch up with you. But yeah, maybe this can be a lot more. Wait, is this. Are they showing like. Oh, they're showing the gameplay now. Right. Mafia is a franchise rich in atmosphere and tone. For the Mafia remake, we wanted every mission to exemplify this. A trip to the country is our haunted house mission, designed and built to create a sense of foreboding as you search for Sam. As with the original, Mafia is mostly a narrative-driven experience. However, we still offer some opportunities to explore locations like the farm, where you can find clues that help flesh out the game's backstories and subplots, along with a range of period-appropriate collectibles. Emergency. 
conversion. Where the hell are you hiding? Though a trip to the country is heavy on narrative and atmosphere, like most missions, it's also punctuated with action. Hey, buddy. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I gotta pin down! Get over here now! Combat is a key part of every Mafia experience, and while not every mission features gunplay, it is a centerpiece of a trip to the country. For the gunplay in the Mafia remake, we started with the visceral combat and core shooting mechanics of Mafia 3, but then tailored that experience to fit the Mafia narrative, time period, and characters. For example, because Tommy isn't a trained soldier like Mafia 3's Link and Clay, we wanted to create the sense that these are life and death gunfights and that every bullet counts. We'll have settings for players who just want to experience the story, but with our default settings, we wanted players to think about where they take cover, which weapons they use, and when they blind fire versus risking exposure by aiming down sights. Look at the Sammy. Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts the rest of the face down in the game. dirt, too. As in the original game, Tommy and his crew learn that Don Morello is trying done. to edge them out of the whiskey business, the too. But we've taken great pains to make that conflict and Salieri's role as underdog in the war much more apparent. Oh, Christ. Here cops, Tommy. How would I know? They didn't show a badge. Yeah, they didn't say anything. It must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Now we'll jump ahead a bit as Tommy and Polly close. Ah, come on. Like, why do you have to? Okay. Maybe we shouldn't watch this whole thing. Maybe it's for people that already played the first Mafia. Ah, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it looks really good. The difference is fucking ridiculous. Usually you don't see that level of remastered. Resident Evil has made a good job. Um. Final Fantasy 7. Is there any other like super huge remasters? That that <laughs> Warcraft 3. <laughs> oh, oh, you I mean remake, sorry, remake. Doesn't have spoilers. I mean that was a spoiler, he just killed a cop. He's a cop killer. For some reason, that's the worst thing you can be back in the days. Even though you can, had no problem killing innocent people. But a cop killer, that's... That's when you fucked up. That is when you fuck the fuck up. Alright, but uh... 